So, you've seen her on All of Us, The Wood, Beauty Show, Single, uh, single Ladies, and the popular film Players Club. And she's now starting in, B in BET's Holiday Heartbreak. Everyone show some love for actress, model, and businesswoman, Miss Lisa Way. Hello. Let's, we're waiting for her to get on. She'll be here in one second, y'all. Hi. Hi. Oh, my Hi. God. So, look, before I even go into anything, I literally was about to put on. <laughs> I swear Great minds think alike. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've, I've been at this this morning since about, I got up about five this morning. You know oh, what I mean? Really? Letting everybody know about this new holiday heartbreak Christmas film I have coming out. And I was like, you know what? Why don't I just go real Christmas? And I found these earrings. I was like, I, I know I know damn well I would have wore these on a regular. <laughs> they too Christmassy. So it was like, so I had to have bought them for Christmas. So bam, I'm going to put these on and this is what it's going to do. And this is what it's going to be. So hello. <laughs> twins because i'm about to join you okay go I'm, ahead do it i was like am i doing too much at 11 30 a.m will people <laughs> accept the santa hat but say, i said look if miss miss mccoy is doing it i'm gonna go ahead on and do it you know there you go <laughs> i think santa could use a whole bunch of helpers nowadays within this pandemic you know what i mean so We'll be spreading some holiday cheer. Some holiday cheer. You know, let's 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 get into it. Let's go. Well, the last time I talked to you, you were here in Chicago for the stage play, um, Married but Single. And we, we Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I so much fun. Such a funny play. I so enjoyed it. When you do theater, I never thought that I wanted to do Broadway or anything because I was thinking, yeah, I ain't that kind of girl. I don't want to do the same thing month after month after month. So I'm not that. But, you know, us as Black folks, we have the Chitlin Circuit. You know what I mean? Uh, whether you had the David Talbots and the uh, uh, Tyler Perry, you know, shows and even back in the day, Shelly Garrett, you know, from Beauty Shop. But now Jacarius Johnson has really taken it to a whole nother level. And when we did Married But Single 1, and came back with Married for Single 2. I enjoyed the whole tour process of going out there in the lobby, meeting everybody, and finding different ways to say a line or two different every night, and building a family with the cast, and then being able to be in different cities on somebody else's dime. It was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And when we talked then, we were talking about love, because it, it was the same type of like energy that play. And then now this movie um, on BET, you know, Holiday mm -hmm. Heartbreak, we're talking about love again, Lisa. I know, right? Lisa Ray, when are we going to stop talking about love? Girl, you know what? I believe that art imitates life or life imitates art, whichever way you want to do it. But, you know, when a girl is looking for love, it's like you look for it vicariously in a movie, in a character, in a play, <laughs> wherever you can find that feel good. And I already have, like, love around me, my family, we're in the house together in this COVID-19 time. Uh -huh. I got my granddaughter here and she is simply the joy of the house. But that ain't the type of love I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, I'm talking about something else. But back to the movie, you know what I mean? Uh, holiday Heartbreak. What it's about is the karma of your ex doing, breaking your heart, mm -hmm. doing things to you that you know doggone well that he would want to happen to him. And that's exactly what happens in the movie. Yes. And it is a feel-good film. Michael Collier is the lead in here, and he's one of my exes. Broke my heart, and we all had some Negro that we want to wish harm on, or at least bad, bad vibes on him. <laughs> like, you know what? I hope somebody break your heart the same way you broke mine, and you feel what you're doing to me. Well, that's what it's about. It's really about watching how you treat people going up, because what goes up must come down. And it's not so much a message that's pushed and forced in your face. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's intertwined with comedy. So you get a chance to laugh and go, well, wait a minute, I'm thinking and laughing at the same time. And that's always good. Absolutely. So the, the, uh, the movie really does, like you said, speak on karma, karma and, and making sure you do people right. So are you one that believes in karma? Oh, God, I do. Mm -hmm. I do more so now the older that I get. Because now I try to... Um, I try to say, what is going on with me now? Mm. Where did this come from? I try to figure it out because I want to change that. Mm. You know, I, I, I want to be able to grow and learn from my mistakes. 
I want to be able to become a better person than what I was even last year. And I want to be able to listen with an open heart and open ears for the constructive criticism that people have to say, because sometimes we're too close to ourselves to be able to see it. And it takes somebody else to say, hey, girl, you're a little mean spirited or you're a little, you know, too much straight from the hip. Or you need to watch how you say things or your body language is wrong when you're talking to me because we got to teach each other how to deal with each other. Right. You know, like for me, all of this and that that don't work for me because then I feel like you trying to, to, to boss up and fight or something and being the girl that I am. Then it's like, well, hold on. Well, let me stand up because I need to be on your same level to be right. able to receive what you're giving me. You know what I mean? So I want to change that about myself. You know what I mean? Right. And it's been things that my family has shared with me, I, you know, things that my daughter have said to me. She calls me, um, she said I got OCD. She called it Ray CD, you know. <laughs> and I'm like, what exactly does that mean? And literally, I did something where I just moved something across the table, and she said, right there. That's it right there. And it was like, touche. Got it. Caught it. Thank you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. So, <laughs> so, you know. I just saw that you guys did um, fix my life. So do you think that speaking to Miss Van Zandt helped heal the home, help bring some healing in there? And I'm not even talking about within your family circle, but your outside circle, you know, your sister, the Brad, you know, people that you may work with too. Did that help? heal some of that let me embody all what you asked and answer all these questions okay doing Iyanla Van Zandt I think was a brilliant idea wow because we had been trying to fix it ourselves and we were not successful at doing so so it was very obvious that we needed someone from the outside to be able to help us and based on her history and not just the shows that she's done but her history of doing this even before she televised it, um, we all know about, it. at least I do. And I had been talking to her years ago about a situation with my daughter and I. So when the time came about, and this is her last season for doing this, and she asked me, hey, how's everything going? I was like, yeah, I need some help. You can't be above being able to be checked and helped. Mm. And so for me, it was like, help us. And so we all concurred, obviously, because we all showed up. So we all knew that there was a problem. And when Iyanla said to us, are you guys ready to get into it? Because we're going to have to throw up some stuff and get it all out and have a big powwow and finish some things. Mm -hmm. See, sometimes families have conversations and they don't finish it to resolve it because it gets too heated. And then the other one goes in the other corner and then somebody locks themselves up in the room and it's like, mm. Mm -hmm. We had been doing that, putting a Band-Aid on things for so long and so many years. So it was like, yeah, time out for that. I feel it on me. I'm wearing it. I feel heavy. And I don't need to feel this way. I need this to be uplifted off of me because I got things that I want to accomplish. And I got things to be excited about. But I find myself riding the fence of just the roller coaster of I'm excited. Oh, not really. I'm faking it. Okay. And it was just too much. It was too heavy, mm -hmm. you know? And so when she, we, when we actually spent the time, because what people don't realize is that you guys get to see 43 minutes of the show, right. but we were there a whole week. And then prior before that, you speak with a, a psychiatrist, a, psychi a psychiatrist, you have a, a, a counselor session, you have interviews, you have homework, you have evaluations, you actually are talking to people about what your issue is and what you feel the issue is there per every person. Mm -hmm. They got to put all that together. So Iyana had to do her homework before she even sat with us. She had to know us individually and what our desires were before we got there. So we didn't get a chance to talk to her before. Mm -hmm. It was raw and honest right there in the moment. But one big thing um, that I realized is that you can't have no ego in the process. Mm. You have to allow your defense mechanism to be all non-existence, actually, because you, otherwise you won't be able to hear. You won't be able to take it in because you're so busy going, you don't know me. Right. You don't know me like that. Don't talk to me like that. And you don't trust the process. Now, I'm going to tell you, it wasn't easy. Mm. I was actually praying while in the session 
You know what I mean? I was like, Lord, praying for. Don't have her talk to me crazy like I've seen her talk to folks on TV, cause I'm gonna go south side Chicago and it's gonna be all day. Right. You know what I mean? I was right. praying for this. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, because I know me, mm-hmm. but I also know the things that I wanted to change in me. Some of the things, but I had no idea what some of those things were going to ignite and come out. Like I had some epiphanies that made me go, oh, I hadn't a clue. I didn't realize this was connected to this. Or I didn't even know I felt this way. Wow. wow. You know, and it was like, I, she left me wanting more, but I will, I will divulge this information too. You guys only saw part one. There's a part two with just me that when I tell you she handed me my ass on a platter. And you accepted it? Yes. Wow. Yeah, because if I knew how, I would have been a better person. Right. You know? Right. And so she broke me down to build me up. Mm. She made me think and she made me feel. Sometimes we get numb, numb to dealing with people and showing up for people and being present because we feel like we've been present so much that we're not even present for ourselves. So I'm going to give you just a little bit of me. What is it, girl? Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, girl. I'll pray for you. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And it's like, and then you can build up a resentment because no one else has a solution for your problem. So you're not really trying to help me when really your stuff is your own stuff. Right. You know? Mm-hmm. And she really, really pointed out some things to me that has me reading a stanza in her book almost every day. She has me checking myself. She has me checking my behavior. Is my behavior queen like behavior? Mm-hmm. What is my purpose and my intent? Because that's the way we're supposed to walk. But yeah, we human. We forget. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because we get caught up in this or caught up in this phrase. I do a talk show on Fox Soul called Cocktails with Queens. Right. I say some things on there sometimes to make me make the block, the, the block. All the time, you know what I mean? It's like, what can I say now? You know what I mean? I don't mean to. People has never heard Lisa Ray speak and talk so much. I have a weekly show now. Right. So you used to just seeing me on the big screen or the small screen or in various interviews, which I let you know what I want you to know. I divulge what I want to, you know? Mm-hmm. When you have a talk show and it's a gossip trending entertainment show, you add in your opinion, you spread a little salt on there, you add commentary, you elongating the answers, you're doing a bunch of everything and you riding a coattail of somebody else's comment. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. some things come out distasteful. Some things come out like, well, I didn't mean it like that. Or you all took it and ran with it. You know, so I can't come and just address everything, all the rumor meals, because if that's the case, I'll have my own show saying ass Lisa Ray. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't care to do that. You know what I mean? Right. At the end of the day, I do look at my comments. I do read them and I do take them to heart because it helps me gauge what they think about me, how they've taken things out of context and how I can come back and be better from whatever lessons that I've learned, you Mm -hmm. know? And so I am growing. Mm -hmm. I accept that. I accept the stretching of me because I want to rule and stand in my throne like any queen does. Yes. Yeah. I love this. I love and I can just, even in your delivery of saying it, you know, because I, I've interviewed you before and I know you don't, you don't play, you don't take no mess. <laughs> and um, you, you definitely, I, I could tell you have this, this power about you where you, there must've been an incident. I don't know. I don't know you where people did take advantage of you and you were like, okay, that's enough is enough. I'm putting my foot down. And so even sometimes, like, you know, when I've met you, I, I know, like you said, you got that South Side Chicago, and I know how that is. It's real quick, yeah. you know, from zero yeah. to 100. So within that, with all of this, with the pandemic, because I, I know some people um, mentally have had to do some soul searching for themselves mm-hmm. during this time, you know, um, with speaking and, and doing the show, um, what is the number one thing that, you have changed about yourself or you feel that you're working on changing my delivery okay on things mm-hmm. you know that i say i am very blunt i'm straight from the hip oh, yeah. um and i don't mince my words you know i say what i say i mean what i say if i gotta take an l then you know because it's my opinion then i will you know what i mean but if it's something that to be said that you're sorry about then take that l and 
own up to that and and be accountable for it. You know what I mean? Be a woman about it. And I'm definitely that. You know what I mean? And some people say, oh, she's backpedaling or oh, that ain't what you said, girl. It's like, no, I said what I said. Mm-hmm. I meant what I said. But y'all just took it out of content and I didn't add the co other commentary to it to make it make sense to you guys. Right. And so now what it has taught me is to say what I need to say in its entirety because those sound bites can come back to bite you. And now that I know that I'm in this part of my career where I'm a talk show host. Now I am very privy to a lot of different information and I'm privy to being scrutinized. So it's like, okay, give it to them, but give them to them in a way in which when they take it from you, it is not, not the words that you said. It is absolutely everything that you meant to say. Gotcha. Example. I just said something about Halle Berry mm. and it was huge mm -hmm. and it took snowball effect. And it came off of an interview that she said that she had given herself her first orgasm at age 11. And so it was like, girl, at 11, my mother was still telling me to keep my hand from down there. What? You do? 11, you know what I mean? And we were just talking about beautiful women, how they always say that we uh, are crazy because yeah. we don't keep a man. We, we can't keep a man, you know what I mean? And so we were talking about Tony Braxton, Holly Berry, myself, all of us, you know what I mean? All the ones that are supposed to be crazy, you know what I mean? They're, they're single, you know? And we were talking about the lyrics of Toni Braxton. You know, how could she have all the lyrics she had and be single? Or is she still with Birdman? Whatever that is, you know what I mean? And then Claudia said something about Hallie. And I said, oh, I said, you know, that's what I heard that she wasn't, you know, she said, what is it? Did she not good in bed? Right. And I said, oh, uh, but that's what I heard. Right. That's what they said. Now, that came off an article that I read during Monsters Ball when she received the Oscar. But what it, her, how it hurt me is that Hallie is one of me. She's closer to what Viv and I do, you know, meaning she's a Black woman, she's a single parent, and she's a Black actress. Mm -hmm. Not to mention a Black Oscar award-winning actress mm -hmm. that broke barriers for folks like me and Vivica. Mm -hmm. Never will I ever disrespect that one. Mm -hmm. So when they took that and snowballed that and it, it went for it, I felt like she wasn't going to go for it because I was like, she'll see in the clip that that ain't what I said. Right. You know I, mean? I didn't say that at all. Like, I didn't know what she does with her snatch and whatever. But I have to say that I like the way she eloqu eloquently snapped back. She says, at least right, if you want to know how good I am in bed, ask my man, Van. And it's... Uh, I said, okay, girl, look, look here. I ain't got to ask your man because I'm sure you handling that, but I'm sure I will report on that Monday as well. Thanks for the tea. You know what I mean? Right, <laughs> right, 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 right. And it was real cute, but I didn't want them to start no unnecessary beef with someone that I love. Right. You know what I mean? Now, I've said some things about a lot of people, and it's my opinion. You know what I mean? And I'll take that and be like, yeah, well, I'll say that. You know what I'm saying? But never do I want to bring down a, 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 not only just a black queen, but a queen, period. You know, that, that ain't what I do. That's not what I'm here for. You know, we all go through some things. We all have, a, you know, wake up on the wrong side of the bed. And we all have our opinions. But the ones I like, you're going to know I like. And the ones that I don't, you're going to know that too. Because I didn't told you in the world who it is that I don't like. And y'all know that already. Right. You know what I mean? So right. I ain't got to repeat that. You know what I mean? I don't have to keep that going, in other words. Right. But that one was heavy on me. And that one really made me take a, 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 a seat and say, Wait, what's going on? How how do you ha how do you fix this, and how do you um, make sure that this doesn't happen again? Mm -hmm. And again, I heard Ayala say, "That's not queen like behavior." <laughs> and it was like, okay, but I really didn't say it. She was like, perhaps it was just distasteful, and you shouldn't have said any of that at all. It was like, but I have this show, and then, well, queen, watch how you say things. Mm -hmm. Got it. Got, Got it. it. Okay. So the the evolution of Lisa Ray is still growing, you know, especially in this viral world, world that we're in now. Everything is Zoom and live and, and, and FaceTime and, and Skype and all of that, you know what I mean? And you were inside of our homes more now, right. you know what I mean? And so, you know, I just got to protect my privacy as much as I can. I, I stole that from Jay-Z and Beyonce. You know what I mean? It's like, plead the fifth then, doggone. I ain't talking about none of that, you know what I mean? Kind of thing. And just learning how to compartmentalize my life in, in a way in which, you know, would help me, which is why we had ended up doing the Ayala thing because it was bigger than us. Wow. And I got so much great feedback from people saying, oh my God, 
that's me and my mother. Or congratulations and bravo to you and your family for being courageous enough to showcase that. And we're praying for you guys and, and we hope that you guys get it together. And, you know, I've been there too, you know, keep going. And it was inspirational, not for just us, but for them as well. And, you know, when your life is played out in lights, camera, action, it tends to heal in a different way than it does a lot of other people that is more private, you know? Yeah. So it, it was, it was great. It was great. You know, like I said, part two, it comes on um, the beginning of next year and, Y'all probably all gonna be calling me going, girl, you need some tissue. <laughs> How are you now? You know what I mean? Right. You know, seeing it for the first time, you don't know how they're gonna edit it or what's gonna make it or whatever. But I will say that everything that you see was honest. Okay. You know, like the take out the take, I kept thinking, is my eyelashes still on? <laughs> my God. You know? <laughs> like, no, that's, that's one thing that is beautiful about you, Lisa Ray, is that um, through each and every interview that I've had with you, you're very open, you're very honest, you're very candid. So what it is, is what it is. You know, it's, and, mm -hmm. and you don't have a problem um, if there is an issue with something you said or you did to say, yeah, I said that and, you know, and, and, and address it and not sweep it under the rug. So, yeah. you know, I, I, I appreciate you, you know, because I was, I, I wanted to, to ask these questions, but I'm not a gossipy type person, but I am a person that wants uh, to give a platform to people to speak their truth and whatever that is and how, how they see fit. So I'm not going to press you on who you're sleeping with, why you're sleeping with them, but I, I do want to have a come to, come to Jesus moment on my platform where you can feel you know, comfortable enough to shed a tear, be honest, whatever it is that you want to do. So that's I, why I, we appreciate you guys giving us the platform because let's just be real and honest. You know, they got that cliche and that saying teamwork makes the dream work. Yes, it does. Because just as much as you need us to grant you the interview, I need the platform to be able to get my voice heard. So therefore we need each other. So there has to be a mutual respect there with each other, you know, and it is. No. So I thank you. No, it it definitely is, um, and I and I thank you. So you know, you're welcome, Queen. I do have a, something I want to do with you, though, right? Um, okay. So th this is called Like You Cards. It, it's a uh, black-owned business, okay. um, and the purpose of this card game is it creates a fun space for to practice vulnerability. So okay. I have <laughs> that. I am no. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're vulnerable, so we'll do like. From like you cards, we'll do um, maybe like two questions, two or three questions. It depends on how. So you tell me which one to pick from left to right. Just tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay. Right there. So it says, if you could eat only one meal for the rest of your life, what, it, what would it be? Um, it would be, um, there's a dish that I like. This is a, a salmon, uh, pasta with sun-dried tomatoes. I love pasta and I love fish and I can have my protein with my fish and get filled up on the pasta. And I love Italian. That's my favorite, uh, you know, cuisine. So okay. that's Got that. Okay. Here's another one. I'm going to let you pick. Stop. Go back. Nope. Here? Yep. Got it. Oh, this is a good one. If you had a warning label, what would it say? <laughs> warning. <laughs> Proceed with caution. No. <laughs> <laughs> make the money. Don't let the money make you. <laughs> For real, though. No. <laughs> that mm -hmm. Good Look, I don't want to waste nobody's time. I don't want them wasting my wasting my time either. So come correct <laughs> for real. on every level. <laughs> Zero from one hundred, real quick. <laughs> real quick. <laughs> I'm working on that. I'm working on I that. Know, though. I know. I know. I know. All right, and this is the last one. Stop. Stop. Okay. If you were arrested with no explanation, what would your friends and family assume you had done? I didn't, I didn't whoop somebody. I was going to say you didn't <laughs> whoop somebody. 
I have schemed on you. I done finally got you right here, and I just couldn't stop. That's not me, though. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, like, you know, I'm just using my imagination of what they would think, you know what I mean, from the past. <laughs> right. No, absolutely. Absolutely. Now, my last question, since you're, it's holiday heartbreak, everybody. Holiday heartbreak. It's, it comes on tomorrow, right? Uh-huh. It comes out tomorrow on BET, BET Plus, BET Her, on all the BET platforms. All it's BET. a feel-good movie, Holiday Heartbreak, fantastic. Different type of character for me. I'm actually, I don't even, well, I was going to say I don't even look like myself, but I, the face is the same, but the character get up is different. It definitely is. I did see, did see the movie yesterday, so it definitely yeah. is. I saw the screener. <laughs> so I want to ask you, favorite holiday song? Look at Kia. Kia, what you doing on here, girl? Uh, comment. Tell us, I was going to say that. You was going to say what? Did I beat somebody up? <laughs> you the one over there getting fine, fine. Okay, that's my girlfriend. I had to just, I'm looking down at the comments like, what they saying? Yes, she is from Chicago. Yep, born and raised. Got to represent. Yep. Okay, what's the question? Oh. Favorite holiday song? Favorite holiday song? Oh, girl, I know what this is. Santa baby, put a sable under the tree. For me, I like the part when she go duplex and checks. <laughs> yeah, that part. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then it's any... sexy. It's from a black woman. It's just it's Christmassy feeling. You know, it, I, I love that song. I love that little song. And mine is of course. Um, dun, 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 Oh, Hang all the mistletoe. Okay. <laughs> Wanna Don't get to get know you better. Hey. See, if I put a mistletoe up right now, nobody kissing me but my grandbaby. You know what I mean? That's <laughs> kind of kiss. You know what I mean? Wait, I we'll change it. that. Maybe we'll change yeah. that. Oh, let's, let's pray that. Okay, let's say. Hey. Let's pray uh, that. Hey, uh, holiday. Uh, 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 that's good. Dun, 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 right. dun. This Christmas. Christmas. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> So I love talking to you uh, around the holidays. Thank you so much. I know I've asked so you, too, um, but I hope I get to talk to you again, Lisa Ray. It's always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure. Girl, I got some great things going on for the top of the year, you know, some new shows. I got a new store in the Beverly Center here called Lisa Ray. It was called LR Homestyles by Lisa Ray. Oh, and it's yeah. a mattress and furniture line. I am ecstatic about that new business. My jean line comes out next year, PZI Jeans. So I'm, I'm doing some major things. That's why I got to get everything in alignment so those blessings can keep on coming. I'm so very thankful for where I am right now. But we as people, we got a long way to go. We got to keep uniting more and more and more. And now that we got this new president, we got to help him do what it do. So we got to do our part and make sure that we stand tall for each other. And that's where I'm headed. I'm sure that that's where you're headed. And if you're not, come on with us. Come on and go with me. Hey, come on. Come, come on, on over to my place. place. <laughs> there you go, girl. So I'm, 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 I'm happy. You know what I mean? And I just want to keep that road right now because there are a lot of things that we could be sour about, you know, hence just, these vaccinations and stuff they're trying to give us, you know. My so. motto is just vibrate high, you know. Be that's, what Ms. that's what Michelle Obama said. They go low. <laughs> We go high. Yeah, just make sure you're on a high vibration. And when you're on a high vibration, mentally, physically, spiritually, all of that, that's when all of the, the blessings come and you, you, you're you getting all that positivity towards you because you are, yeah. you're working in a high vibration. So I just started my new meditation um, about seven days ago, about a week and two days ago now. And my mom and I have agreed to touch and agree while we're praying and we do that daily you know and i allow myself to get back to my prayer closet which is my closet and i sit there at least for 10 to 15 minutes with me mm -hmm. and i'll say my affirmations and uh, i'll talk to him and i uh, want to hear from him and i'm just being you know what i mean and i like to start my day like that and getting back to what i know and what i remember that makes me feel good which is him you know, and so it's not that easy. We fall off every now and then, you know what I mean? And I had fell off, you know, but now I'm back, you know, and I just need that help that's going to push me over the, the edge that's going to say, I'm ready now, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'm so very thankful.
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's frozen. They there you me. On the call. I see. I know no. that happens. But <laughs> no, I, I But I've been I've been I've been really getting back to what I know that makes me feel good. So I'm happy to be able to, you know, say that and to be able to reclaim my time like Maxell Water Maxine Waters say. Reclaim her time. I'm reclaiming my time. <laughs> <laughs> Reclaim that time. And right. claim that time, girl. All right, Lisa Ray. Thank you so much once again. Happy okay, Chat Town. Keep it Chat Town all the way, girl. That's right. That's I love right. It. Right now. Happy holidays to you. Happy holidays to you and yours. Tell your daughter happy holidays thank as well you. as your granddaughter and your mom. Yes, and I will. Let's do this again, okay? Soon. Yes. Soon. All right. All right. Bye. Talk to you. Bye.